Hello and welcome to Ginger Welsh Allotments. I am Bethan and I've just popped over and had a brief look around because we have had snow again on Saturday. It's now Wednesday, all the snow is gone and so far everything on the plot is looking good. But before the Saturday, I did manage to get a couple of jobs done that I've been wanting to do for ages. So I'm going to show you what I've been up to on the plot now. So the first major job that I'm really excited that I've actually got around to doing is putting my fruit bushes in. Um, I bought three apple, one plum, one cherry and one pear. Um, at Christmas time and I just haven't got around to putting them in the ground because the ground's been so wet but as you can see I've now got them in and I just now need to mulch around and put in some frost protection before the buds start to open as I'm not entirely certain we've got rid of all the bad weather we've had and next to the fruit trees we have the raspberries and I showed you that I planted the raspberries last time but hadn't finished off putting in this frame so I'm very pleased to have got the frame in this is a big pile of pallet wood my husband very kindly broke up the pallets for me when I was over here doing some other work the other day and I'm going to use these to make more raised beds and also to put more frames or surrounds around the fruit bushes I've got but behind the pallet wood is some ground that I dug over to put my grapevine and grapevine support in but my husband said he now wants to put the big water tanks I've got um, up on the shed so you put some guttering up on the shed and then the tanks would sit there so, which means I've now got to dig another patch for my grapevine and I've decided this patch here is where I'm going to put my grapevine which is going to be the first thing I'm going to do today as the ground is not too boggy so I can get all that turned over and maybe put some of the supports in for the trellis and maybe even get the grapevine across here today but I think that's pretty um, adventurous but I'll see how I get on the other thing I have to show you is I have eventually moved my gooseberry bush which if you remember was next to my grapevine in my garden and I've moved it into a position now so it has got green buds on it and it doesn't seem to have been affected by the snow because I moved it on Wednesday, the same as my fruit bushes uh, and I was hoping that they would have survived the frost and the snow and it looks like they're going strong but what happened when I was moving the gooseberry bushes is some of it snapped off um, at the root so I had four or five um, little offshoots really so I've planted them in the ground where my strawberry patch is so here's one and there's the other two and I'm going to dig up these strawberries they're not going to stay here as you can see this ground has got awfully weedy and I've decided I'm going to grow my strawberries in tubs. Some of the strawberries I put black plastic around. So I had one bed of strawberries in black plastic. But what's happening is the black plastic is coming up and flapping everywhere. And I'm afraid it's damaging the plants. This one's not too bad. But some of them further along are not very good at all. So this one was completely covered over. And it's got a weed growing through it so that's not really what it was designed to do so I think the strawberries are all going to come up and go into tubs from now on and then this patch will become another gooseberry patch 
and that black uh, plastic will I think that will stay there and I might put my tubs of potatoes and strawberries on top of the black plastic this is my new raised bed next to my well established one I made this out of pallet wood and I filled it with well rotted manure and I've just got to bring some bags of multi-purpose compost over from my house to finish topping it up and I shall continue the row along here when I get around to making more beds. So I'm going to crack on with um, clearing this ground for the grapevine now and I'll show you how I've got on when I'm done. So I've leveled the ground and I've cut the bottom of my wood to make it easier to go into the ground. And I'm just going to mark up the area now and then when I come back from lunch I'll construct a frame and I'll show you my progress as I go. Here is the timber structure complete. I'm very pleased to have got that up at last. It's been a job that I've been wanting to do all of the winter and eventually I've got it done. So I'm very pleased about that. Uh, I won't be moving the grapevine over today as it's getting dark and I'd rather do it first thing in the morning when it has all day to bed down in the warmth. And I've also got two other grapevines um, growing in pots uh, that weren't looking very promising but they might flourish in the ground. And I've also got five grape cuttings that I took off my current vine and I'll need to check how they have done over the winter. So that's it for me for today. All I've got left to do now is bring the grapevine over and bring the other two grapevines that are in pots over and plant them either side. And hopefully we'll have lots of nice grapes this um, year. So all I can say about that is lovely job.